kind of interesting because it has their hair and it says wigs here. It says wigs here. In the 18th century, we had height of an enormous wig craze. The taller and more elaborate, the better. Well craft pieces. The fact that they were incredibly expensive, some totaling of Hi, yes. I'm Cora, and this is Austin, and we are filming for the museum kids. So you are probably wondering what on earth we are doing with all these skeletons. Well, luckily, I have no idea. But we are focusing on this one, and it's called Python Mary. Now, it seems like Python Mary was famous for a dessert, her, her peach ice cream ice cream with raw peaches it does sound appetizing but she was not a big fan of washing hands and and <laughs> and back then there was a kind of fever and no one like really actually wanted to wash their hands and so i don't know what happened to her well what did you think it was when you only looked at the title and the this I thought that it was about some kind of cook, like making a kind of dessert called typhoid. I don't know. Well, many people died from the disease she carried. Typhoid is a type of fever, fever, and it is also known as a type of pathogen. Now, it would probably be called a pathogen, or she carries a virus that she, she probably doesn't wash her hands, gets bacteria on her hands, and then makes food. It's kind of gross. <laughs> and it's just... It's kind of gross because like I make like I make breakfast for my little brother and I always wash my hands but what if someone back then did not wash their hands and they were cooking for like a rich family that would have been disgusting if it was a rich family then Tyler Mary if they died like right after they ate it seems like she would just be like well they died time to inherit the money <laughs> But yeah, that would have been really, really disgusting. That would be like brutal. Knowing that someone had died by your own causes and then taking all their money, that is brutal. And this uh, artist, her name is Lee Harper. She is from Oxford. And she does what is called history bones. So the only thing she didn't make out of all of these is the bones themselves, the skeletons. So she buys those. And then she makes the clothes, she makes the, the, uh, the land around it, the paintings in the background, she makes their clothing, she makes the furniture in these, she does the hair, everything. And it tells about the history of things that happened that were kind of a little strange, like the duel between uh, Hamilton and Burr, or when they used to put a tax on wearing a beard. This guy thought it wasn't uh, so smart to be wearing a beard, so he wanted them to all cut their beard off. So if they didn't cut their beard, then they had to pay money. And it looks like right there that skeleton has a big bag full of money. So it might be the taxes. And so that guy over there with, with the taxes is coming over to, to, to pay his taxes to get a beard, I think. Well, what I think the beard tax I think they have, well, I've actually read this before. Well, they have to actually pay a tax for having a beard. And this, and you are correct, this is in Russia. The longer the beard, the more money you have to pay. So that guy probably has to pay a whole bunch of money. That guy in the middle has no beard. No, he does have a beard. See? You can, like, see it. Oh, yeah, I see it. And that guy has a goatee, so he'll have to measure both his mustache and his beard. Yes. Actually, it's pe those are the beards from the people who refused to pay. They had to be shaven, 
And you see, he people used to write in ink and quill. 